friends, your good buddy Stubb. Welcome to day eight of the Cork Emmy Adult Beverage Advent Calendar Video Series. I really haven't gotten up and out today yet, as you can see, but I'm feeling festive AF because I've left on my Santa hat all day. It's time for the spirit of the season. It's time for today's spirit. Let's open the box and see what we have in here. All right, friends, I open the box and ha ha, hilarious production staff. It's another box. All right, let's see what liquor is actually in here today. And it is another freaking box. That is literally how the day is going so far, friends. Hopefully there's not a smaller box. There is not an inside of today's spirit of the season box we have. Wow, just let me get super excited. It is screwball peanut butter whiskey. Now, friends, being in the drinks business for all these years, I am aware that screwball peanut butter whiskey, whiskey exists. I have not brought myself to try it because I generally don't like that type of thing. And gosh, even from getting this cap off, I can tell that this is going to be a quality, quality product as the sugar has sealed the cap to this little mini bottle. All right, friends, look. It pours like a syrupy whiskey. Can you tell I'm not super excited to try this? On the nose, it smells like a peanut butter candy bar. Let's give this one a taste. Wow, it tastes like an off-brand Butterfinger. Okay, I can get why people like this 35% ABV spirit. If I were to drink this straight, I would definitely put some ice on it because watering this down and making it thinner could only make it better, in my opinion. And that's sad to me because this is one of the fastest growing spirits brands in the US. Makes me happy I'm currently living in London. Now, what am I gonna do with this, friends? What I'm gonna do with it is make myself a cocktail. And I've never made this cocktail before, so let's give it a go, but just ideally, I was put in mind. We are gonna add our 50 mils of screwball whiskey there. Put that glass aside. And to that, friends, we are gonna add, well, yeah, some Yoohoo chocolate drink. Yes, we're gonna add chocolate flavored water to this. I'm gonna do it about a one to three ratio. Uh, for those in, not in the know, the kind of classic cocktail ratio is gonna be two to one to one uh, to get uh, all the uh, sweet and poppy citrus flavors you want in a cocktail. Friends, I forgot to put ice in here knowing I was gonna to try to make a cocktail, but the Yoohoo's cold. But I do think Yoohoo is definitely a shake uh, situation when using as a mixer in a cocktail. So we're gonna shake, shake, shake. It's also quieter for video, but we're chilling it down, so we're gonna see what happens. We're gonna strain this. I would generally maybe put this in like a cocktail glass of some sort, a coupe or a martini, because why don't you wanna be freaking awesome? and fancy when you're eating this cocktail. Now, this cocktail here, I figure it needed a really special garnish. So we're gonna garnish this, not one, not two, but three times. We're gonna use a Rice Krispie Treat. We are gonna use a Baby Ruth. So we get some marshmallow and sweetness in there. And then to top it all off, to pair with it, we're gonna garnish this with a little Baby Butterfinger, which friends, those are really, really hard to uh, cut to sit on the side of the glass. But let's give this cocktail a taste, shall we? Well, friends, as I suspected my entire life from the time I was, I don't know, three or four, Yoohoo does in fact make everything better. This is now something at least you could drink and feel kind of funny about. I don't want to say proud, but you'd be like, eh, yeah, I did that. Now, pairing this with the, uh, the garnishes, yeah, it doesn't really help. It's just a sweet glass of whatever. Um, hmm. So maybe consider me not a fan of screwball peanut butter whiskey. And with that, friends, it brings me to the spirit of the season for today. And gosh, I think this is appropriate for the day for all three of our beverages today. But let me start, as always, because apparently it is always now, a holiday haiku. Here we go. What the bloody hell? There's flavor in my whiskey. Please to drink a proper pour. Now, friends, while I have a proper pour of whiskey to, wow, really get rid of the terrible memory of the peanut butter whiskey and the cocktail that I made that I actually called Childhood Memories, by the way, that cocktail. I think that's kind of appropriate there. Today's question is this. What are your pet peeves in the drinks business, uh, whether you're in the business or not? So for me, it's going to be flavored whiskey. Uh, for you, it may be over garnishing your cocktail, say with a Rice Krispie Treat and a Butterfinger and a Baby Ruth. Mm, who knows? Um, is it the hard seltzers that have come on? Yeah, just let me know playfully, of course, 
what your pet peeves in the drinks industry are. All right, friends, thanks for joining me. Sorry today was just kind of a this day, but it's, it's piss and rain outside. It's a little chilly. Eh, it's just not one of those days, but we're getting through it and we're learning something new. As always, friends, thanks for joining and sharing and being a part or letting me be a part of your festive season. Can't wait to see you tomorrow for day nine. Until then, remember, be nice, be safe, and be happy. Cheers, mates.